What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to some basics on how to move around in Maya, how to pan, how to zoom, how to rotate rotate around your model, how to go between and how to go viewports and show a couple of camera tricks. So this is going to get you started on some of the basics, but it'll help you a lot. So, here we go. So this this is going to be a quick video. So, to rotate around the model in Maya, as you can see, something like this, all you do is hit Alt and left click. This is the main way you rotate around. Now, if you want to zoom in and out with the middle mouse button, if you have a, a rolling ball, with the middle mouse button, you can scroll in and out, and you can it'll do this here now if you hit the alt key and right click you can zoom in and out also more accurately if you hold alt and click down on the middle mouse button now you can pan back and forth so these tricks will help you move around how you need to any way you want now a couple of tricks if you select an object by just left clicking and you hit F this is the look at button so if you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere and you want to look at this cup over here if I hit F it looks at it but it keeps the same distance that it already is at from the model so if I get a little closer but I'm way off screen. If I hit F, now it's looking at it. I'll try that again. F. See? Now when I zoom in, it's basically putting a point of origin there for you. So now you can zoom around that model easier. So if I hit F, see? So if you go under view, selection, so if you didn't want to Use the hotkey of F. You can do the same thing with this view. Look at look at selection. Now for tumbling around and zooming in, if you go under cam camera tools, all the same tricks are in here. The alt, the scrolling back and forth. You can do all that in here, but it's just a lot slower when you do it this way. If you want to go see your front view, like front orthographic front view, side view, or top view, all you do is hit spacebar. When you hit spacebar, it'll automatically give you automatically give you all four views. Now, if I put my mouse in this top view and hit spacebar, it'll make this my main screen. If I hit spacebar again, it'll go back to four. If I want this side view to be my main screen, hit spacebar, now I can work in here. Notice when you try to rotate around in here, it won't let you because this is only an orthographic view. If you want to go in perspective, just cl click back in perspective here, spacebar, and now you can play around in here. Now on the left side here, you have a couple options, these panel layouts. so. If you select this one, it'll make it full screen. This one, four screens. This one, two. And if you click this one, this will open up your outliner, also known as the object lister and alias. And it'll give you two, two screens here. So I prefer this one. And I can just go back and forth between these two by pressing spacebar. Now, if for some reason you're having this issue like how I'm having right now where I'm getting a lot of clipping, one way you can fix this is if you go to Control, Perspective, New. That makes a new camera. And you see, it's a lot better now. Still getting a little over there, but overall it's pretty good. 
when you go under panels perspective you also see the all the cameras you haven't seen so if I go the regular perspective I get the this one perspective 2 this is me, my original camera so it looks a lot better here if you're scrolling around and for some reason you want to select this camera one way you can do it is view select camera this is useful if you want to select the camera to animate it or delete it for some reason all right guys that's all i got for this one i'll be making more videos so make sure to check them out thanks